Hey guys, so I know that I haven't been uploading on Fridays. I'm so sorry. You know, I said almost, but I'm going to film a video today. I said that I was going to do a room tour, but um, um, not right now. And I just had this really cool idea of this DIY duct tape organizer. So what you're going to need is... um. An empty duct tape roll of like your toys. I chose this one because it's like cute. Um, and you're also going to need scissors and hot glue or any type of other glue. I have a glittery, I have a glittery glue stick in right now, but you can just do the clear. I'll show you them. Um, they're like this, and they come with like a bunch of different colors, like including gold, which is quite cool. Sorry, I just put my hands like that, but yeah. And you're also going to need scissors. So, first, what you're going to do is um, take your duct tape roll, and you know, like this thing, you're going to trace that, or you can just trace the bottom of this and cut out a circle of cardboard, and then you're going to make two. And then, it's pretty easy. So, okay. So, all, oh, and I forgot to mention you might want a glue stick. I mean, you might want a toothpick, but it's optional. I want to try something with it. So, first, I'm going to move this thing down. So, first, you're going to put some glue on your circle. Your cardboard circle. And you don't have to use and you don't have to use hot glue, you can use any type of strong glue. And get your parents permission before using a hot glue gun because they are called a hot glue gun for a reason. They are very hot. I get burnt with them twenty four seven. So there it is. I'm gonna trim off it, the extra later. And then you wanna do the same to your other one. I'm actually going to put glue, like, on the rim of this. All right, so once I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on a toothpick. Put the toothpick in, and then I'm going to... Okay, actually, do not glue the rim yet. You can, if you just want it to be, like, closed, you can just, like, glue some of it, leave an opening. But if you want to do the toothpick thing, then all you need to do is I like to break some of the toothpick off like that. And then I'm going to put some glue on my toothpick like that. And then put it in the side of my duct tape roll. Sorry, you can't see it. I'll show you. Like that. I need to scoot this thing back. So like that. And then I'm going to glue this on. So I'm going to put some glue on the top of my toothpick. And then put the cardboard on it. Well, actually, well, a better way to do it. Okay, sorry. My selfie stick's falling. Okay. So, then what you kind of want to do is, um, you want to, like, leave, my toothpick just broke really short. So, in case you didn't see this, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. So, let's do this again. So, you're going to put glue on your toothpick and put it in, leaving a tiny bit hanging out like that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your circle like this well actually tilt your thing to the side and put a little bit of glue on the toothpick like that and then you're gonna put up your top part and squeeze it like that then you're also going to put it down if that makes any sense at all probably doesn't like that, and then I like to put some extra glue 
And then I also like to glue the sides. I know that you can't see. I also like to glue the sides right next to it. Like that. And yeah, then you just want to like let it dry. I like to put like a lot of extra glue just so that it doesn't break. If you get what you mean, you just like, here, here's what it looks like on the inside. And then once that dries, you'll be able to open and close it. Boom. So once it like is almost dry, um, some, your it will be like open like this and then put it down. And some of your... Um, glue will break and then it will be able to open and close and I want to make like a handle and I want to make something so that it can like stay closed so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is optional this part but I'm going to take a little bit of foam and I'm just going to cut a strip of it Gonna cut a strip of the foam and then hang on. You kind of wanna try to make it as even as possible. So I have my little foam strip and now I'm just going to glue inside like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another strip of this like that and then I'm gonna turn it like this and then I'm going to glue it on like a loop if that makes sense I'm sorry this is like not a good video um ugh my glue just dried yeah also when you're working with hot glue you need to be really fast because it dries instantly so you want to stick it on like a loop, as you can see it, it's like a loop. Um, and then you can like slip this thing in, and I need mine to be higher, so. I'm going to do it now. But yeah, you get the point. And once you make your closure, woo! Okay, so I made my closure, and it looks like, in, um, now, going to bring you guys down here and to make our ending so here's how it should look Woo. um if you want you can trim off some excess because i have like some excess hanging on i'm going to do it later not in this video because cardboard is really hard to cut so um you have this little like closure and then you can like take this little thing out it's hard to do it with one hand um all right, so I opened it, and then you can, like, open it, and you can put stuff in it. So, and then it just looks like a cute little box. So that's this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up, and bye.